Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat. I'll be I'll be turning heat. Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heat. I'll be turning heat. I'll be I'll be turning heat. What's good, y'all? This is D Landry of One Entity Productions, and I'm here shooting an interview with Lowe's the lyricist. We're here at his home studio. And uh, we're just going to ask him a few questions leading up to Flyfest 2012. So be sure to check us out there. Be sure to check out Lowe's the Lyricist at that performance, May 19th. So without any further delay, we're going to ask Lowe's to kind of talk to uh, the people out there in uh, YouTube land on the internet. Uh, we know who you are. Just tell them where you're from. And uh, we get started with the interview. All right. Uh, I'm Lowe's the Lyricist. Uh, I was born here in Houston, Texas. Uh, Mexican American, uh, was uh, raised in the Southwest, uh, A Leaf, uh, Ace Town, uh, and uh, yeah, I've been uh, rapping since about 2004. So uh, that's when my rap career started. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So let's get started now. Remember, I told you before this interview that these questions were not going to be music related. They're going to kind of catch you off the hook. So be prepared for that. All right. First question I want to ask you is, if you could have dinner with anyone, who would it be? Uh, dinner with anyone? Hmm. I would uh, probably say... Hmm. Uh, what kind of dinner are we talking about here? Ah. See, yeah, uh, I, I think that depends okay, on... Okay, let's, 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 let's say uh, you pick the restaurant and it's your favorite place to eat. Okay. So you're introducing this person to a little bit about yourself. Uh, does it have to be, a, is it like alive or dead or, I mean, does it matter? Any person. Any it person. Matter. Okay. Hmm. I would probably, uh, probably talk to Nikola Tesla. Ah, yeah. okay, uh, okay. Okay, the scientist. Yeah. Creator of the uh, the Tesla coil. Yeah, the Tesla coil. I'd probably just want to ask him uh, if he really invented all that uh, uh, <laughs> technology that he probably. The death did. ray. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Okay, second question. Besides music, what career path would you have as an individual? Um. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, music is, you know, like, I love music. That's that's what I live for, you know. Uh, I really couldn't see myself without music. But I guess if I didn't have music at all, I'd probably, I have no idea. I'd probably become like a computer hacker or something and <laughs> rob banks and just make billions of dollars. Okay, uh, okay, cool, cool. Um, What's your favorite genre of film? Uh, favorite genre of film? Um, I would say comedy or horror. Okay. Or suspense, drama, whatever. Okay. Uh, whatever you call it. Any any film favorites? Any? I'm not gonna ask you top five. Just. You want to see my favorite movie of all time? Right there. Oh, have faith. <laughs> have faith with Deja Bell. Yeah. Awesome, sweet man. Uh, which is a comedy movie. But it has some suspenseful parts. Okay, now we're gonna we we did a little bit of research on Lowe's the lyricist, All right. and we found a couple things that we wanted to uh, dig out of the crates, as they say. We All did right. it to we did it to uh, in our first interview with Tawn P, and she was her mind was blown. So we're gonna see if your mind is blown. When I say the words Ultraman, what does that bring to mind? Ultraman. Um, well, I use that for a lot of my flyers and I used it for some of my artwork. Uh, yeah, but, uh, Ultraman is just like a old school, like, you know, anime, like type show that, you know, uh, sci-fi, okay. you know, uh, but you know, that's just like top, you know, part of my style. Like I was always influenced also by like sci-fi type shit, you know, uh, movies, like, you know, also anime and like. I mean, I'm just like a, you know, I feel like I'm an artistic individual and that I just, I'm attracted to that kind of, you know, shit. You cool, know? cool. And Ultraman is, is uh, anime from what country? From Japan. From Japan. Right. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Um, okay, so here's a music related question. What 
describe your first live show experience. Man, my first live show, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I, it was way better than I thought it would turn out. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, yeah, just to put it that way. Uh, like, I don't know, I just got, you know, uh, the vibe from the crowd and it was a lot of energy, you know, and uh, I think I did, I did better than I expected myself to do also, you know, uh, I, I was under pressure, I guess sometimes that, you know, brings the best out of somebody, so. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, okay, what is one thing that you could say to your fans? Um, uh, check out Los Lyricists April 28th. Zero and J Dog opening for Zero and J Dog at Funplex. Um, also, check out uh, Street Science. It's on Dapiff. Uh, search Street Science, Los Lyricist. Uh, and then also, man, check me out at Fly Fest and everybody else that's going to be there. It's just going to wreck hard, man. All right, okay. I got two more questions. All right. First question In 30 seconds, peep the 3 0. What is Beast 1333, and is there a connection to the three that you use in the lyricist part of your name? Oh, nice. That's a good question. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I uh, told you we did some research. Yeah, man. Um, actually, uh, I found Beast music, like, man, back when he was, like, just coming out on YouTube, you know? And... Uh, I hit him up on YouTube and I was like, yo, man, uh, I, I see your influence by Big Pun. Like, you know, that's that's one of my biggest influences. And he's like, yeah, uh, that is, you know. So we just kind of like just started talking about music and shit, like back and forth. And like um, I had told him uh, I had wrote a song. Well, it's a secret song. It hasn't been released yet. Mm. <laughs> but, but I sent it to Beast yeah. regardless. And uh, it's uh, it's called three, like number three. And uh, basically, three's been my luck, like my lucky number since I don't know, since I was a little kid. I really can't explain it. I mean, just that's always has been. And I wrote a song called Three, right? And that was the concept. You know, I use like uh, different wordplay and like concepts in the song. You know, that were metaphors for three and all that. Mm -hmm. um, so I sent it to Beast, and like he was like, "Yeah, man, that shit is sick." Like. But uh, at the time, you know, my studio really wasn't, uh, it's not what it is now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, yeah, the song still hadn't been finished. And uh, I used it as, uh, the three now is actually a metaphor uh, in my name. Uh, I uh, is the first I as in self, right? And then uh, in lyricist, there's two I's. Mm -hmm. there's, it's L-Y-R-I-C-I-S-T, right? Yeah. So the first eye is eyes and self. The second eye in lyricist would be the second eye, and then the third would be the third eye, mm. which is also a metaphor for your pineal gland, uh, you know, that releases, uh, you know, uh, DMT uh, when you sleep and near-death experiences and you know all that. So yeah, man, uh, I've been uh, really like reading up into a bunch of you know topics on DMT and you know. Shit that's correlated with all that, but yeah, y'all need, need to it. get into that. You know DMT, what I'm that's all we're yeah. gonna say. Google it. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, final question. Final question. Um, if there is one thing that you could change in your world, what would it be? Um, one thing I could change in the world. Uh, that's a really good question. I mean, there's a lot of changes you can make to the world, you know? Um, one. One change. I mean, that's a hard one, man. Because <laughs> I mean, in the end, there's really not one change that's going to fix everything, you know? it's it's There's a lot of things that, that would make the world that we live in a lot better, but I think uh, greed. People need to stop tripping off greed, man. I mean, it's really what it boils down to. Cool. But uh, other than that, I mean... That, that would be the one thing that would probably sum up, you know, all those other categories, you know, like uh, corporate, like, takeovers and control, you know, globalist control over economies and all that type of shit, you know, that keep a lot of people, you know, under, uh, you know, under pressure and, like, you know, just living crazy, you know, like in third world countries and, and stuff like that, you know, a lot of those countries, they could, you know, they could be, like, resourced, you know, yeah. uh, 
uh, you know, resourced uh, way better than they are now, you know? Definitely, definitely. Uh, so, um, thank you, Los Lyricists. Yeah, man. This artist right here, Los Lyricists, is going to be at Fly Fest 2012. Fly Fest. I'm D. Landry of One Entity Productions. And uh, be sure to check us out, youtube.com slash One Entity Productions. And find this guy, Google him, Lowe's the Lyricists. Remember, there's a three where that third eye is. Yeah, L-Y-R-I-C-3-S. Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heads. I'll be turning heads. I'll be turning heads. Every time I hit the corner, I'll be turning heads. I'll be turning heads. I'll be turning heads.